What's up, YouTube? This is a little update on the little budgie here. He is not that one. He's over there. He's doing good. He's like twice as far as he was before when I first got him. I got him two little buddies. Another male over here. He's just a little baby. And I'm, I'm thinking he's probably four months old. And uh, the one I'm calling Budgie because I had no other name for him other than lunatic crazy like me. <laughs> Refrigerator bird. He's up there. Doing a little normal crazy thing. And this one over here. I think it's a female. It's a fancy Budgie. But I'm not sure if it's a female or not. But it acts a bit different from every, from the rest of the birds. So and this is my update for the budgies. Not for my uh, big parrots and everything. But this is just what I have here in the city. And I got in this bigger cage, obviously. It's a MOD2 by Vision. And it has a little, it's pretty cool. It's got a little guard down here. So all the poop and every and all the stuff at the bottom of the cage doesn't fly up when they like to fly around the cage, which is what they do. And you can just go ahead and open this up like that and pull that out. Boom! And change the water without disturbing the birds. And over here. And that side up just a little twist and go like that and dump that well it looks like they need more food because there's just a bunch of husks in there I'll get to that in a minute and that doesn't disturb the birds and it has a little poop shield thing here that you can take out if you want to you just pop that off and pull it out and clean it obviously it needs cleaning and this is actually one day's worth because they poop a lot and it has it on the side too. <coughs> and I got this little ladder here, and it has little little things on the side for them to chew, and they'll they'll pull it out. And there was some that had like little plastic thread things on it, and they pulled all those out, which is expected. And if you're wondering why I put toilet paper tubes in there, it's because they love to chew. That's what they do. And this is a chew toy that I got for six bucks on Amazon and this is a little 48 inch ladder that I got from Amazon boom 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 and that was about 14 bucks and a coconut shell here that's hollowed out and has a little ladder on it and it's full of shit but that's to be expected and this here is a little jingly toy for them with a little mirror. Of course, they like to bob their heads up and down and go crazy in the mirror and peck the bell. Oh, yeah, this one has a bell on the end of it, too. Right here. And I got them this large stone here. It's actually for uh, cockatiels. But I, I got it for them. It lasts a lot longer. It lasts about a month or two. And it's, a, um, it's from a fish. It's a fish bone thing. Uh, cuddle, cuddle bone from a cuttlefish. And uh, pros and cons. Well, and there's a little bird bath at the bottom there. Bad part is, don't order it from uh, Walmart. Because they use... Um, FedEx, and this is what you'll get. A broken side of a birdcage there because they kick it all around and stomp it all around just like UPS because they're a piece of fucking shit. Excuse my language. Amazon doesn't do that. They have people that deliver them by themselves. So you won't end up with damage like that on them. Personal people that deliver it. Oh, another good thing is you clamp this off down here at the bottom on both sides and you lift the cage up and you put it down over here somewhere 
or wherever you're at. <laughs> Put a piece of the newspaper down, and you don't have to disturb the birds to clean the bottom of your cage. And you just put that grill off. It will grill at the bottom, and you clean it, and then you just take the paper out. But it's better to put bedding in there rather than newspaper. But these are new birds, right? And they and they kind of sh- they, they haven't uh what do you call it? Damn it, molted yet. There we go. <laughs> and so all their feathers and stuff are going down there. So I'm changing this thing out like basically every day. But once they've molted and they're about a year old, then you can put the bedding down there and it lasts about a week. So it's easy cleaning and you just wash the bottom of it there. Boom, 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 done. As opposed to the little cage over here that they had before. Not they, but he had before. With this little bell in here. Where you had to have to take this off and you have to actually remove the bird and then put him who knows where because when you get a cage like this and you have one bird, you probably won't have another cage and you won't know what to do with the bird while you're cleaning it. So you probably have to let him roam around your room. Which is not a good idea anyway because you have to wash each individual thing off. And sterilize it at least once a week because bird poop turns to dust and that dust if you inhale it not a good thing so oh and if you're wondering what these are right here this is f from my tangerine tree and they love natural wood and stuff and they'll chew that and and get the bark and stuff off to strip it because that's their thing and I got one over here too and one over here. Oh, and that's the other thing. These plastic perches that are in here are not good for budgies. Simple reason. Well, quite a few reasons. See right here? That little line that goes along here? That is where the two plastics meet together and that's where, when they have their mold, and, and there's like two pieces of a mold, it goes together and it makes that, that plastic line there, that damages their feet. And they can get, uh, uh, what do they call it? A, a sore or something on the bottom of their feet, I forget what they call it. But these are not good. Plastic perches, garbage. Wood perch, good. So, oh, and if you're going to end up picking something off of your tree or whatever that you think is good for your budgie, you have to wash it a bunch of times. Don't use any soap or anything, just hot water and everything. And never use avocados because avocados are very, 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 very bad for budgies. Too much salt, too much fat. And it will not prolong their life. And so I'll just give them a little update on them. There they are. There's the three little boogers up there. And they're a little stressed out right now because I left them out all night last night. And <laughs> I turned off the lights and they ended up crashing into each other a whole bunch of times and it kind of spooked them out a little bit. Okay, so that's a really long video. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. Take it easy.